Hare Krishna everyone, hope you had a lovely day. Welcome to Soma Vedic Astrology channel. Today we will discuss about the tale of Chandra Dev and in the end we will understand how we can use this mythological stories and relate it to the planet moon in astrology to make predictions. So let us begin. So it starts from Lord Brahma, the creator. The duty of Lord Brahma is of creation, knowledge, Vedas. And Lord Brahma had created 10 Manas Putra, the child born out of the mind of Lord Brahma. They were Rishi Bhrigu, Rishi Pulatsya, Rishi Pulaha, Rishi Kratu, Rishi Angiras, Rishi Marichi, Rishi Daksha, Rishi Atri, Rishi Vashishtha and Narad Muni. So Chandradev is the son of Rishi Atri. But let us see his birth story. Now Chandradev's birth is considered very strange. It is told he had to make three attempts to finally come out as Soma. So now let us see his journey, his birth story. Rishi Atri, as we saw, is one of the Rishis born out of the mind of Lord Brahma and he was married to Anusuya, the daughter of Rishi Kardam. Now, there was a desire which Rishi Atri had. He wanted a son who could, you know, keep the balance in the world and hence he decides to do a very hard penance to impress you know all the trinity so lord brahma you know is impressed and he blesses rishi atri with soma okay soma is nothing but chandradev but while you know lord brahma was creating soma he had created a glowing radiant beautiful child and he himself got so lost that the in this process that this process you know could not complete then Rishi Atri had tears in his eyes and that is when you know Soma the Chandra is reborn out of Rishi Atri's tears but his radiance and glow was so powerful so radiant so bright that he had to be immersed in the ocean so that the world can survive so Chandra had to live inside the ocean for many many years and later when the Samudra Manthan happened, when the churning of ocean took place, you know, by uh, the gods and the demons to get the Amrit, the Soma for immortality. During that time, Soma, the Chandra, was again reborn from the ocean. All the people assembled during the Samudra Manthan were mesmerized with the beauty, glow, radiance of Soma. Soma was magnetic. Soma was very beautiful, very bright and had a very soft nature. He was considered the most beautiful, the most handsome amongst all all the devatas at that time he had you know become quite a lot popular for his glow for his beauty so the devatas decided that you know they will take chandradev you know who came out from the ocean to the devalok and he will you know he was then given the status of the navagraha now, you know, in the early uh, time of Chandradev, uh, you know, uh, he had gotten a curse of Lord Ganesha. Now, let us see, you know, how that unfolded. Now, we all know our Lord Ganesha is the son of Ma Parvati and Lord Shiva. So, Lord Ganesha had, had a lot of affinity towards, you know, eating various dishes, especially sweets. He loves to eat sweets okay so there was a you know very grand fest hosted by lord kubair okay the lord of wealth where lord ganesha was also invited so lord ganesha was sitting on his mushak the mouse okay and he was you know heading towards the grand fest so he went there he ate you know to his heart's content he ate you know 
lot of sweets. Now, while he was returning back to his home, he stumbled and fell because you know he had eaten a lot. Now, Chandradev was watching all this from top and laughed at Lord Ganesha's fall. Now, Lord Ganesha felt embarrassed and angry, so he attacked Chandradev by throwing one of his task towards him and hence we can see the dark spots on Chandradev. Now let us understand you know the tale of uh, Lord Chandradev and Tara. Now Guru Brihaspati as we all know was the Guru of the Devatas, the Guru of Gods and Tara was the wife of Guru Brihaspati, Jupiter. Guru Brihaspati used to perform all the sacred fire rituals for all the gods okay and used to pray for their successes in life okay. They, uh, he used to pray for success in the war against the demons. Now Tara being the better half of Guru Brihaspati, you know, uh, had a duty to sit in all these fire rituals which were performed for the success of the gods because uh, husband and wife pair, uh, you know, was needed to perform all these rituals, okay. Both the you know a uh, male partner and female partner becoming one you know and that uh, power you know is needed to perform this rituals to turn this you know rituals into success so tara was very important for you know guru brihaspati and for all the gods you know for their success to you know complete the fire rituals now, Guru Brihaspati, as we discussed, is the Guru of all the Devatas. And Chandradev has also learned the Vedas and the knowledge from Guru Brihaspati. Okay. Now, one fine day, Chandradev had decided to perform a very grand, you know, Rajasuya Yagya. That it is a very grand fire ritual. Now, this is first of its sort to be performed on a such a large scale. So, he invited Lord Brahma and all the Devatas, the gods, to attend his, you know, Rajasuya Yagya. And Guru Brihaspati is the priest who is going to perform the ritual and Tara as usual you know is going to sit uh, with the Guru Brihaspati in this ritual as the husband wife you know uh, both is needed to complete the ritual. Now as the Yagya progresses the form of Chandradev the beauty you know the glowing effect of Chandradev becomes more and more more and more is becoming more and more beautiful more and more radiant glowing okay. So everyone who were there in the attendance of the Yagna could not fail to notice the glowing beautiful Chandradev especially the women you know all the women I mean to say the goddesses present in that Yagya were you know mesmerized with his beauty now the Devatas the gods okay being um, you know they didn't like this you know that the goddesses are you know uh, so much in awestruck or mesmerized with the beauty of Chandradev the devatas did not like that and hence the devatas decided to leave the yagya and they left the yagya angrily now Tara, the wife of Guru Brihaspati, along with other goddesses, was also mesmerized, okay, uh, with the beauty of Chandradev. And Tara fell in love with the glowy, radiant, beautiful Chandradev. Now, Guru Brihaspati, who was the husband of Tara, you know, he was, you know, a very duty bound person, very traditional type of a person who wants to perform his duties, who wants to do his work okay 
and uh, he you know um, in uh, some period of time uh, during that time he was you know very much engrossed in his work he was so much engrossed in work that you know he did not used to give time to Tara and Tara you know being a wife did not like you know the absence of uh, the husband Guru Brihaspati in her life she felt that you know um, more than he being her husband he is more focused on you know his work and duty towards the uh, society at that time now tara as we just discussed was also not you know very happy in her you know married life and hence she decides to elope with chandradev now guru brihaspati is very upset with the act of Tara because we discussed that Kuru Brihaspati is a very traditionalist type of a person and according to him a wife you know um, when a marriage take place now there is a duty or a responsibility of a wife towards the husband and vice versa so you know he feels that um, you know uh, Tara has forgotten her duty her responsibility of being a wife and what she has done is not correct according to the dharma according to the you know principles at that time he feels that what Tara is doing is not correct as per the traditions and hence he requests Tara to return back to him. Now Tara declines to return back because as per Tara she is not really happy in the marriage and she is now in love with another person. Now then Guru Prihaspati, you know, tries to convince Chandradev, okay, to send Tara back as she is his wife and you know uh, he requests Chandradev to stop breaking the rules by you know being in love with the wife of a guru okay and he um, tells Chandradev that in this way you are doing nothing but you are committing adultery especially that with the wife of a guru which is a sin so please stop doing that and send Tara back now Chandradev says the female feeling is mutual and he hasn't forced her to stay with him also Chandradev had received huge glory you know uh, by performing that grand Rajasuya Yagya so even you know after that he had become a little proudy in nature now they both were not listening to return Tara back and hence Guru Brihaspati approaches Indradev the king of gods he says to Indradev that I would not be able to perform any fire rituals for you okay and you will not be able to win any war because my better half is not there with me and all the fire ritual needs a better half i cannot perform any ritual without my wife so you uh, you know uh, are bound to fail in whatever war you are taking you know part now this has become a very challenging situation for Indra Dev as you know uh, it is a direct threat on his winning and losing the battles against the Asuras against the demons and without the help of the mentor of gods the guru of gods Guru Brihaspati it is going to be very difficult so Indra Dev goes to Tara and at first tries verbally to convince her okay so that Tara could return back home okay and he goes there he starts reminding Tara of what her original duty is and how she is going in a wrong direction and how her decision is impacting the entire Devaloka okay now since the balance of the world will become this you know totally disbalanced with the situation Lord Brahma, Rudra Dev, and all the other Devtas also along with Lord Indra requests Tara to return but 
Tara does not return. The, all of these people also try to convince Chandradev, but they both were, you know, uh, in so much of love that nobody is paying any attention to what, you know, uh, Lord Brahma, Rudradev, Devatas, Lord Indra is saying now indra had no other option but to wage a war against chandradev as if tara does not return back indra dev also will have to face losses and battles and wars as no the grand fire rituals only is not going to get conducted so now Indra Dev wages a war with Chandra Dev and this war was you know called as the Taraka war. So on one end of the war we have Rudra Dev with its with its Kana, then Indra Dev with all the Devatas and the gods, and you know their counselor is nobody but Guru Brihaspati. And on the other end of the war, on the other side of the war, we have Chandradev. Now, you know, when Shukra comes to know of this war, he, along with his entire Asura demon clan, lends his support on the side of Chandradev. Because we know that, you know, Shukra and Guru Brihaspati, they don't, you know, go well along, okay? So, why is that? You, I hope you guys have checked the untold stories of Guru Shukracharya video and that you will understand that why there is a enmity between uh, Shukracharya and Guru Brihaspati. Okay, so due to that enmity, Shukracharya is going, you know, on the opposite end or, or on the opposite side of the Guru Brihaspati. And now this war is going on and on. The war, which was, you know, essentially between supposed to be between Chandradev and Guru Brihaspati, you know, now has extrapolated and you know now it has suddenly become a war between the devatas and the asuras okay it has you know quickly extrapolated now you know what happened due to this this war you know disturbed the balance of the srishti okay disturbed the balance of the world so lord brahma had to intervene and had to come as a mediator or negotiator to protect the universe from such a crisis situation where lord brahma instructed Tara to return back to her husband okay now Tara had no other option but to return back you know and even Chandradev was forced you know too much forced to return Tara back now when Tara returns home with you know Guru Brihaspati it has come to light that Tara is pregnant now everyone started asking who is the father of the child now she does not share who is the father but when you know later when the child you know is born everyone are in everyone is in awestruck to see the divine child he was very radiant very beautiful very intelligent okay this child is no other than none other than buddha devata which means mercury the planet mercury okay now you know um looking at the beauty radiance and the intelligence of this child there is another argument or fight you know which has started taking place between the chandradev and guru brihaspati now each of them were claiming the child to be theirs as each of them felt that such a beautiful radiant and intelligent child is theirs only okay now again uh, you know a situation of second in war uh, you know on this matter you know was possible now devatas and asuras again you know they assembled for another fight so everyone started asking tara to clarify who was the father of the child now tara was not comfortable you know she was not feeling comfortable to share her you know situation because her situation has literally turned into such a public affair or where you know now everybody is curious about her personal life now lord brahma seeing the discomfort on her face 
takes her to a private space and asks her who is the father of the child and tara replies that it is a child of chandra dev okay now guri prihaspati when he got to know this he is very enraged okay he is very angry after hearing okay um that he that buddha is the child of chandra dev and that is why guru prihaspati curses the child that he will not have any gender therefore buddha devata you know is neither male nor female now okay i will make a separate video on the you know the entire story of buddha devata now let us see the story of you know the marriage of chandra dev with 27 wives okay now prajapati daksh had many daughters out of which the 27 daughters were ashwini bharani kritika rohini mrigashira ardra punarvasu pushya ashlesha magha purva falguni uttar falguni hasta chitra swati vishaka anuradha ज्येष्ठा मूला पूर्व आषाढ़ा उत्तर आषाढ़ा श्रावणा धनिष्ठा सताभिषा पूर्व भाद्रपदा उत्तर भाद्रपदा एंड रेवती so these were the 27 daughters uh, you know 27 daughters out of the many daughters of daksha prajapati so when daksha prajapati asks them about whom they want to get married you know all of this 27 daughters you know uh, reply that they want to get married to chandra dev because i hope you guys must have understood by now that you know the world at that time everybody was raving about the beauty you know of chandra dev and how all the goddesses were all struck were mesmerized with his beauty and radiance so you know now this proposal you know goes to chandra dev and even chandra dev also you know uh, gets ready to accept all the 27 of the daughter of uh, daksha prajapati as his wives but daksha prajapati keeps one condition in front of chandra dev for this marriage to take place he asks chandra dev to love all of them equally to treat everyone with equal respect now chandra dev accepts the promise and hence the, you know the marriage happens and chandra dev becomes the husband of 27 wives now you know after some time now chandra dev has got in more attracted to one of the 27 wife which is rohini because she was the most prettiest of all of the 27 he had started spending more time with rohini giving rohini more attention than you know uh, and he had started ignoring all the other 26 wives now the rest 26 wives did not like this attitude they did not like this behavior of chandra dev as they also wanted the equal attention of the beautiful radiant glowy chandra dev they all you know um felt very neglected by their own husband they constantly asked chandra dev for more time with them but chandra dev did not listen to the rest 26 wives and hence they all go to their father daksha prajapati with their complaints of neglect by the husband now daksha prajapati you know did not like this behavior of chandra dev and you know and that he had you know broken the promise which you know uh, chandra dev had itself given to daksha prajapati at the time of marriage now hence uh, daksha prajapati curses chandra dev that his radiance and glow will become dim day by day and he will suffer from kshaya rog now chandra dev you know who is during that time was known for his beauty radiance okay now is frightened with the curse of daksha prajapati he requests his father in law to roll back the curse but once the curse was given it was not possible to roll it back now chandra dev 
you know after this does a very hard penance of lord shiva lord shiva gets impressed and asks chandradev what he wants as a boon now chandradev requests lord shiva to roll back the curse which was given to him by his father in law daksh prajapati now lord shiva tells chandradev that you know it is not possible to roll back the curse of daksh prajapati so you know what instead lord shiva can do is he can alter the curse at the max okay and thus lord shiva alters the curse that you know at one fortnight definitely you are you know going to lose your radiance and glow and you will you know start vanishing due to the curse of daksha prajapati but you know the next fortnight you will gain your radiance you will gain your glow back okay now this is what this you know is literally the process of waning waxing process of the moon no chandradev was still upset with the you know boon of waxing and waning moon because although the impact of the curse had lessened to some extent but it is not vanished and the thought that chandradev have to live like this for the rest of the life was you know bothering him a man who was known for his beauty for his radiance you know and suddenly getting you know waxing and waning so he was you know very upset with that so lord shiva you know gives the position of crescent moon on his hair okay and in this way you are you know he says that uh, to chandradev that chandradev is always with lord shiva and lord shiva always is with you know chandradev who is you know a loyal devotee of lord shiva and this is when lord shiva you know came to know as the chandra shekhar after you know uh, chandradev being you know present in the hair of lord shiva even chandradev gave a very calming smooth, soothing effect to you know the nilakantha the significance of chandradev is immense because it is his future generations who have had a major impact or a major role you know in the society during that time we know lord ram lord krishna they all come from the chandravanshi lunar dynasty and that is why they are also called as ramachandra krishna chandra you can use the lessons learned from the tale of chandradev in astrology with respect to the planet moon now let us see what all lessons can we see from this the first thing is that chandradev is very gentle okay uh, chandradev has a very soothing effect he has given that soothing effect to none other than lord shiva itself the nilakantha who had gulped the poison okay and kept in his throat during the samudra manthan so the soothing effect of chandradev is just like the affection of mother okay the selfless affection which a mother can give to its child so in astrology we can see you know mother related things from the moon in the chart the next thing that we see is now again um i think you all must have heard enough stories enough poetry poems so songs you know across the world raving about the beauty of moon you know all the songs and poetries which compare a woman's beauty with that of the moon so already you know a lot is already written about the beauty of the moon in the scriptures and otherwise so what we see from this that everyone celebrates and respects the beauty of the moon so themes of you know celebrating one's own um natural beauty the inner beauty okay not only the physical beauty but the inner sense of beauty can also be seen from this now chandradev brings a very calming energy very calming factor in the night time okay people when you know they roam at night they just feel very relaxed just by looking at the sight of the moon at the night okay and for some time definitely they you know forget their 
you know turmoils and tensions whatever is going on to their life the you know night uh, sky with the presence of you know illustrious moon you know brings peace uh, to the you know people's mind so that is why moon also represents the peace of mind now chandradev was you know biased towards one of his wife which is rohini so you know you can also see if there is a prominent moon we can see you know some um themes of injustice due to uh, you know being uh, emotional or uh, by taking some emotional decisions now from the tale of chandradev and tara we can see the themes of you know cheating betrayal extramarital affair or falling in love with the spouse of one's mentor now chandradev had to take birth thrice okay the process of his birth was not a smooth one so if prominent moon is present in anyone's chart it can show you know themes of um troubles happening during the birth of that person okay or possibility of parents uh, you know taking multiple trials for conception okay you know after multiple trials and tribulations this uh, you know person is born on now we can also see that rishi atri the father of um chandradev literally had to cry after which you know soma was born so after maybe you know many trials you were born and you know also prominent and afflicted moon can you know also show the possibility of modern treatments for the birth of the child because moon has not come out of you know the womb of his mother but he came out of the ocean now you know uh, this multiple rebirth scenario of chandradev can also show the themes of you know experiencing multiple transformations you know into that person's life now the next thing that we that this prominent moon can show is the themes that this person can be very very charming okay this person has a very magnetic personality popular personality okay especially popular among the opposite sex okay not only due to the you know uh, beauty but also due to you know one's soft nature one's affectionate nature now we saw that you know in the raja suya yagya the devatas left the you know the fire ritual as goddesses okay were mesmerized with the you know beauty of the chandra dev so prominent moon can you know in one's chart can show the themes of you know other people being jealous on you maybe for your skills or maybe for your grandeur nature or maybe for you know some grand event that you are doing or it can be also you know jealousy um due to the fact that you are very charming that you know uh, all the opposite sex likes you so you know a themes of jealousy uh, is a possibility uh, which we can see the next thing is that in the story of lord ganesha we understood that if people with prominent moon try to demean someone especially you know uh, a person who is you know um, not uh which the a person who doesn't look like a normal person because we know ganesha lord ganesha is special in the way he is so you know if uh, a person with prominent moon tries to demean you know some other person then this person definitely is going to get a return karma payment then and there itself okay and then whose loss is this this loss is no one but of that person itself now if the moon is prominent we can also see the 
themes of you know dissatisfied married life of such a person now this person even after getting married to a partner who might have all the perfect 27 qualities okay still you know this person is not going to get satisfied in the marriage life now it, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is some issue with the wife but it can show you know the mental uh, dissatisfaction inside the person mind the next thing that we can see from the story of chandradev and tara we can see you know themes of falling you know in love and and this falling is you know not logical it's like completely falling without seeing any you know repercussions as to what is going to happen whether it is going to destroy my reputation my life you know nothing is seen just you know blindly falling in love and then fighting for love okay well if you see he uh, soma caught the love of his life tara isn't it but ultimately what was the result ultimately they they were separated from each other the entire world came to you know oppose this love union this love union was not a very simple you know love union where nobody's bothered but if you see you know it had become a very public affair okay this where you know a lot of discussions happen everybody's curious who's a child is so if you see this now become a very public affair a public event where you know everybody has some say so you know such themes you can expect if you have a prominent moon okay uh, possibility and especially if you are a very in this world if you are a very famous person then you know you just um you know extrapolate the scale on which it can happen okay so if you are a very prominent person you can just consider that your love union or public uh, or you know this love union can become a very literally a nation's affair okay where the entire nation is discussing about it then you know themes of public war for love and if the moon is afflicted then you know sexual scandals love scandals exposing to public about the love so all these themes is also possible now from the story of chandradev and tara we can also see the themes of affair okay of a person with you know another person who is you know already married person okay uh, and in today's generation we can also include in this themes of affairs with a person who is already having you know one ongoing relationship means uh, I hope you understood like there's a person who is already in a relationship and then you know another person following uh, you know falling in love with a person who is already in the relationship now the next thing that we can see is chandradev got curse from his father in law okay that curse was related to kshaya rog so we can see you know if prominent moon and you know not uh, well placed not a you know good dignity so possibility of having you know tuberculosis or kshaya rog we can also see the themes of you know some form of struggle or uh, you know difference of opinion with you and your father-in-law now uh, chandradev was you know um born out of the ocean okay so themes of water is now becoming very prominent you know the high tide low tide in the ocean all this is what it is linked to the waxing and the waning phases of moon so you know uh, themes of water is becoming prominent uh with a uh, person who has prominent moon that person might be a water baby he might like to you know uh he uh you know maybe swim in water or anything which is related to water okay and if you see um moon uh you know is the load of only one zodiac sign and that zodiac sign is nothing but cancer okay a cancer uh you know is represented by crab which is also you know uh, uh is around the water body that crab stays and cancer zodiac sign is also a water sign okay now in the story of chandradev and tara we saw that many people you know came to advise many devas you know many of them gurus came to advise chandradev okay they tried to give suggestions to chandradev as to what is right what is wrong you know uh, 
but we saw right that chandradev did not pay attention to any of those advice so prominent moon can show you know themes that sometimes you know person can become blind to people's suggestion and you know person's emotions or attraction towards other women or you know men as well can overpower the mind you know one's mind and decision making process of the individual so this person is someone who is you know uh, taking decisions more from an emotional angle rather than from a practical angle the next thing that we see uh, from the stories is uh, of the birth of buddha devata mercury okay it can show themes of illegitimate child but you know this uh, buddha devata related lessons we will explore more on you know the next video of buddha devata's story okay now the next thing that we see is there is also themes of you know possibility of attaining huge name fame status position you know huge position at your work okay as chandra dev uh, we know you know got the blessing to be posited as a crescent form on the hair of none other than lord shiva so this is more than a blessing isn't it now we can also see the themes of instability because chandradev has never made any decision with practical mind he is more emotional in nature and takes decision emotionally which can sometimes show instability because you know while living in a practical world we also need to consider the practical aspects of the decision making process okay there has to to be a balance between practicality and you know emotionality if you know the needle is going to the one end then definitely you can you know expect instability so you know a person with a prominent moon can expect you know themes of the periods of ups and then downs and then ups and then downs you know in you know in that aspect of life you know where uh, the moon is sitting in whichever house in that house or whichever you know house it is lording so these house related things you know um, can expect you know a period of ups and downs ups and downs okay so what this shows this shows nothing but you know the phases of waxing and waning moon now the next thing that we can see from the tale is about the chandravanshi the lunar dynasty so the future generations of this chandravanshi dynasty has a very key and prominent personalities who have had a very very major role to serve in the society we all know about you know lord ram lord krishna we know what made role they have served in the society at that time okay and we uh, also see the themes of you know the future generations of this chandravanshi dynasty have been very famous okay so you know similar themes you can expect if you have a prominent moon where you know maybe your future generation uh, you know uh, children are very illustrious and you know have may you know hold some key uh, position or a key role you know in the society in the future now there are some more stories of soma linked to other grahas but we will cover that in our future videos as and when i will you know make videos of other grahas now i would urge each one of you to listen to the story again and then analyze and come up with what more lessons that you can find with the tale of chandradev which you know i might have also missed okay so, and please do mention 
mention that in the comment section below it would be really insightful for our audience to get this lessons i hope you guys must have liked the video please do not forget to subscribe the channel also please do let me know in the comment section below what more videos would you like to see thank you